Hey guys, I'm here in South Carolina where Clemson University is using virtual reality to train their quarterback, Heisman candidate Deshaun Watson. VR is one of the hottest technologies going and more and more teams are getting on board with it. Now I got here today in this GMC Yukon Denali. It features a really useful head up display. It shows you just the information you need right where you can see it best at eye level. Plus you can switch between safety, audio, phone and navigation information. Now, could you imagine if quarterbacks had something like this inside their helmets? But for now, let's go check out Clemson University and see how they're using virtual reality today to train for their opponents. Welcome to Death Valley, everyone. Could this be the year? That's the thought on the mind of every Clemson football fan after their 24-22 victory over number 7 Notre Dame here in Death Valley. It was a signature win for Coach Dabo Swinney and his team, and a critical step on the road to the college football playoffs. Coming off of four straight 10-win seasons and with a Heisman caliber quarterback leading the team, Dabo's looking for any edge that could put his squad over the top. I've become good friends with David Shaw, who's the head coach at Stanford. He just said, hey, give me 10 minutes, give me 20 minutes. You got to see this. Virtual reality technology is not new in football. Prominent high school programs were the first adopters, but these early systems relied on computer-generated graphics, easy to dismiss as a video game. I'm like, oh boy, what is this here? They're fixing somebody's trying to sell something else. But once I put it on, it's just amazing. You're like really there. What's revolutionary in this new proprietary system by Striver, a Palo Alto-based technology company, is that the system stitches a 360-degree virtual reality out of live-action footage, complete with immersive sound. To your brain, the experience is real. Teams can now turn their practice films into customized VR training experiences for their players. The goal is to trick our players into thinking if they if they watch 10 plays on the headset for virtual reality in their mind, they feel like they've they've been there for those 10 plays. Again, they've lived those 10 plays just by standing in a room without breaking a sweat. Every week, Clemson coaches place orders for specific offensive packages and coverage formations that they're likely to see in the coming week. They're building a virtual playbook Virtual Tiger Training Facility. That has a nice ring to it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see it. Is it okay? Yep. Wow. We're gonna give you a crash course. All right. On this virtual experience. So I'm not a football player, but I'm going to be after this. You will be. I'm, I'm ready for the game. That was on. All right. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, the the view that I'm seeing is immersive. It's, it's everything that you would normally see on the field. I mean, I could see a coach behind me yep. and oh, uh, yeah. players all around, and it, it, it's as, about as real as it gets. Absolutely. Without being there. That's right. I just love the ability to not only decipher the defense and what they're doing, but you can watch yourself make the throw. Right. A couple of times I've seen this blitz, I'm like, oh, I already know where I'm going with the ball. It feels good, you know, that I'm prepared and, and able to play fast and not even think, just react. In his first career start for the Tigers, freshman QB Deshaun Watson set a Clemson record. Six touchdown passes and 435 passing yards en route to a 50-35 to victory. A lot of talk about your name and Heisman. I just, I really don't pay attention to it. It's, of course, it's one of my goals. It's probably every college football player goal, but my main focus is on the team and just taking it one game at a time. That's what my mentality has been doing. Never get satisfied with, you know, the success and never, you know, really get down from the failure and just keep pushing forward and try to get better each day. Practice time is a precious commodity for the NCAA athlete. They're only allowed 20 hours total each week, including meetings. The Tiger Virtual Training Lab gives Deshaun invaluable reps as he faces the Notre Dame defense on his own in total compliance with the 20-hour rule. When the guys out from Stafford came in and showed us, I really fell in love with it. For my position, there's a lot of distractions going around and, and people moving. The hardest part of the human brain to train is the oldest part, known as the reptilian brain. It's 
pure instinct. It's what's kept us alive as a species through millennia of hostile environments. It's also the part of the brain that tells a quarterback to ground a pass or flee when his pocket collapses. You need to know where you're hot and when the, where is the blitz coming from so you can find the weakness in the coverage. And so for me, I go in there, find the blitz, see how they line it up, come, you know, game day, it's, it's all natural and you're just playing. The reptilian brain believes that what you see inside the goggles is happening in real life. Each snap, each read, each mental rep, it's all real. He's a guy that is zoom focused on what he wants out of life. His football IQ is off the charts. He's kind of a one of a million type of guy. The mental aspect of the game is, you know, it's definitely more than 50% of it. Don't you think you should work on that? People were neglecting that mental part of it. And I think that has really, really grown over the past few years. And this is just another level to that, another layer to that mental preparation. Already, Clemson is using VR footage as a recruitment tool. Not everybody can get to Clemson. So, okay, put these on and you're standing there, you're there. You want to know what it was like to be in that locker room after that great victory? Boom, here you go, you're there. And you're in the moment. The Tigers are set on a new goal, an undefeated season. As teams fight harder and harder, preparation will determine their destiny. And revolutionary new technology might be what it takes to make this the year of the Tiger. Virtual reality technology is not new, but Striver figured out a way to put live action inside those goggles. And that's enabling a high-powered team like Clemson to finally embrace it. Now, let's see if it helps Deshaun win that Heisman.